Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. Today we are talking about cervical stenosis. Joining us this morning is Dr. Jay Jaganathan and patient. He's going to talk to us about a patient, Shirley Cunningham, who's actually gone through this. Thank you so much for being here, doctor. We're so appreciative that you're going to talk about this with us. Morning, Claude. Thanks for having me. Okay, so talk to us a little bit about what is cervical stenosis, first of all. Uh, so cervical stenosis is narrowing that happens along the nerves and the spinal canal. Uh, and the neck uh, can be caused by a variety of treatment factors, such as just bulging, uh, arthritis, and other less common causes, such as trauma uh, and cancer. And tell us, what are the symptoms of this? So the, the cervical spine connects the brain to the rest of the body, so the symptoms can really be uh, varied, and, and that's the problem with the diagnosis sometimes, is that it's not obviously uh, um, very clear-cut. Uh, the symptoms can vary from uh, neck pain to arm pain, uh, numbness and tingling, problems of balance and coordination. Uh, oftentimes patients feel like they're walking on jello, like they can't get their balance. Uh, in severe cases, you can have problems with uh, urination. Um, and uh, uh, in extremely severe cases, it can result in weakness, even paralysis, if it's less left untreated. So what kind of surgery do you do for this? Um, there are a variety of surgical treatments, and it really depends on the pathology and the extent of the narrowing. Um, it can be going, done through the front of the neck, uh, the back of the neck, or in some cases, uh, an extremely severe pathology can be a combined approach. Uh, we have to go in from the front and the back of that. We love it. Thank you, Dr. Jay, for joining us this morning. We appreciate you stopping by. Sure. And for more information, you can head on over to the hot link section of WNEM.com.